Trump's campaign manager Paul Manafort told Fox News the GOP nominee would turn his focus back to Hillary Clinton and Iran at his afternoon rally. And while Mr. Trump did indeed touch on those two subjects, he did not exactly stay on message throughout. If Hillary puts her people on the Supreme Court, okay, like, who knows? Elizabeth Warren maybe will go. Maybe. Pocahontas, Pocahontas. And those commercials were so false, just like Hillary's commercials. They're so false. They're so false. Like she's got the one with blood coming out of her eyes. And I meant her nose or her ears or her mouth. But these people are perverted. I said in New Jersey, they were dancing. Those people that knocked down the World Trade Center, most likely under the Trump policy, wouldn't have been here. But the reporter, all of a sudden, remembered it totally different from his story. And he was groveling. I won't make the motions because if I do, they'll say something, you know. And nobody's better to people with disabilities than me. I spend millions and millions of dollars on buildings taking care of people with disabilities. Oh. <laughs> so, joining me now, Ben Dominich, publisher of The Federalist, and David Wohl, an attorney and Trump supporter. What is he doing relitigating every controversy from the primary season, Ben? You know, this is, this is really amazing to me. This is as silly as going back to the same pokey stop over and over again and expecting it to be something different. This, uh, th it's not really new. The Trump campaign is in turmoil because it's like this every day. As you were saying to Dr. Carson earlier, this is not something new. We've been talking about this for a year. The problem is this is a guy who, if he became acceptable to a greater number of American people, is up against an extremely disliked Democratic candidate, mm -hmm. has the ability to beat her. But instead, he's going back and relitigating, reminding people over and over again of his problems instead of talking about the many problems that she has. Mm -hmm. David? Really? And, and by the way, just, just as a question for you as an attorney, the fact that Trump has put ramps in his buildings is required by law. He doesn't get extra credit for that. You have to. But they're very expensive in his buildings, Megan, oh, let me God. tell you. <laughs> you know, this, the, the type of stuff he was saying today ramps. fires up his base. Don't kid yourself. But, Megan, anybody who's watched the coverage of, of Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton over the past week, do not kid yourself. The mainstream media, the Fox-excluded media, is trying to do the same thing to Trump as the DNC did to Bernie Sanders, destroy him. Mm -hmm. The difference is not Trump isn't going to shrug I mean, his shoulders, no, go to home, and go to bed. That's what He's they going do. to fight back, and he'll win. Okay, that's what they do. The, that, it's true that the mainstream media now the, hates so Trump. They biased, loved him during Megan, the primary it's... season. They wanted him to run against Hillary. They got their wish. Now right. suddenly, they're, right. now the critical coverage begins, Ben. But, but, Megan, but he's... Oh. Does he, must he help them? Must he help them so generously every day? He every is single day. unconventional. That's for, ben. Day. That's for, that's ben. for sure. Got every it. single day, he every single day that he comes out here, he go, gives them a headline and then another headline and then another headline to the degree that by the time you get to the end of the day, it's like which outrageous thing did he say today that we have to make the top story tomorrow? You have to you have a, a veritable you know sort of feast of things to pick from to throw at him. The problem is just that he's helping them. It's not just that the media is biased because that's not new. It's that he's giving them aid and and comfort and help mm -hmm. along the way. And, and now, David, and Megan, they're talking about what, are they going to have to replace him on the ticket, Washington? Post says the Republicans have reached a new level of panic. You've got um, somebody coming out. I would break his thumbs. This is one of his top people, if I could. So that, that, that they said Manafort has all but given up. This is all mainstream press uh, reporting. No, 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 no. That some of the staffers are on suicide watch because Manafort has lost control of the candidate. This is what the mainstream press is saying now. The, the campaign the is denying press, it. mainstream press, of course. But they're all piling I just got on. Megan, I just got off the phone with a campaign official a couple hours ago. They said this is all garbage. I believe them. But Megan, also, compare this mini scandal to the to the scandal sheet that reads like war and peace that, that Hillary Clinton is racking up. Oh, wait, we're and doing compare that, that in also, last... Megan, $400, $400 million dollar ransom being played by Obama, and, and Hillary Clinton gave it a stamp of we're approval doing that today. You, 